What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English vid. In today's video, we're going to learn five C2 adjectives that you can use to describe people's personality. Are you ready to pick up new vocabulary? So take a notebook and let's kick off. The first adjective we're going to learn today is opinionated. Opinionated. And it has a negative connotation. This adjective is used to describe somebody who has a lot to say on every subject, whether they know what they're talking about or not. En castellano podríamos decir que es un sábelo todo. And now let's look at one example with this adjective. Tom can stand his brother's girlfriend, as she's rather opinionated. Note that we usually use the adverb rather with negative adjectives. For example, rather expensive or rather boring. Our second adjective is acquisitive and it's also a negative one. We use this adjective to describe somebody who hoards things. The verb to hoard means acumular. Y en castellano podríamos decir que es alguien materialista. For example, unfortunately, we live in an acquisitive society where your success is measured by how much money you own. Are you an acquisitive person or a minimalist? I'm the latter. The latter is a very useful adjective that means mentioned second. Now let's move on to our third adjective, which is pompous. The British pronunciation is pompous, while the American one is pompous, long a, pompous. And it's also a negative adjective that we use to describe somebody who is full of importance. En castellano podríamos decir que es alguien pretencioso. Her new boss is extremely pompous and pushy. Pushy is another negative adjective that you can use to describe people and it means prepotente. Now let's look at our adjective number four, which is boastful. It's also a negative one and we use it to describe people inclined to tell everybody about their possessions and success. En castellano podríamos decir que es alguien fanfarrón. For example, Jack's always bragging about his cars and possessions. He's so boastful. And last but not least, a positive adjective, which is discriminating. Be very careful because this adjective doesn't mean discriminatory, but it means that somebody has good taste. En castellano diríamos que es alguien que tiene buen gusto. A discriminating person. For example, you should follow her advice as she is a discriminating interior designer. So I really hope you enjoyed this English bit and I'm sure that these advanced adjectives can help you stand out and impress your examiners. Please make sure that you like this video and subscribe to English Beats if you haven't done it yet. There is a new English bit every week. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao!